Well, welcome back here to the Tim Miles Show. We're going to switch gears a little bit and talk some women's water polo here at CSU. Is Coach Mike Moody joining us along with uh, the senior Aspen Rapp, voted one of the team captains. Thank you so much for uh, coming, guys. And Coach, let's let's start with you and give us your expectations coming into the season. It's a water polo program that that is still in its infancy, started back in 2005, but coming off the best year ever in the young history. Yeah, we had a great season last year. We finished fourth in our conference in the uh, Western Water Polo Association, and uh, every year our goal is to keep getting better. Um, and this next season, in the uh, end of April, beginning of May, uh, we our expectation is to be in that championship game of conference. Sure. How about the expectations for the for the girls coming in, and, and this being your senior year? I, I know it's an important year for you. I think coming off of the best year last year at conference, definitely raises the stakes a little. I think we want to do even better by losing one in the third place game last year. I think we kind of want to get into that championship game and play for first to get a bid to the NCAA tournament. So, Well, the season just starting to get underway here, and you guys have already played five top 15 teams. Who's the guy that makes the schedule? <laughs> that, that would be me. Um, That's a tough way to start. It, it is. The uh, Michigan tournament, the Michigan kickoff tournament, which we just got back from, uh, we've been going to ever since this program started, and uh, John and I um, back then decided, you know, if we're going to be the best, we need to go to the, some of the best tournaments in the country. And um, it's a tough tournament, and it really shows us girls, girls and I, where where we stand. And we had a great, great tournament this last weekend, and we played tough against Indiana and Hartwick, which were 13th and 14th in the nation, yeah. and. Um, we have things we need to work on, but we're definitely getting better, and it was really exciting. Yeah, Asp, I know you didn't get to the wins over those teams, but can you guys build off some of those games as you head into the rest of the year? Yeah, I definitely think so, especially since from my freshman year, I guess, like, the, I wouldn't say losses, but, like, the scores have gotten a lot closer than they have since I've been here my freshman year. So I would definitely say that we've gotten better as a program every single year. So we just need to take what we learned from this past week and then build on it for the rest of the season. Yeah. Now Aspen's from uh, League City, uh, Texas, suburb of Houston, senior this year. Team leader, how did you go from the Houston area to, to Fort Collins? How did you find your way up here? Um, I don't know, I started just playing club and playing in high school and I kind of thought that I had a shot to play at the Division One, maybe Division Two level and came across Fort Collins and CSU and always came up here for spring break going skiing and stuff like that and kind of fit with the whole big, big division one basketball, football kind of atmosphere yeah. and that was what I liked, so. It seems like anybody that comes from out of state, comes from Texas, they always seem to fall in love with Fort Collins. It's, it's an easy thing to do. How about uh, Aspen this year, Mike? I know you guys are counting on a lot from her. Yeah, we are. Her leadership qualities are, uh, amazing. She does a gr lot of great work for the coaching staff behind the scenes, working with the girls, making sure we're coordinating things. Um, she does a great job in the classroom and takes care of her business in that area. Um, as far as the water polls aspect, she's become a student of the game from her freshman year through her senior year. And it's been a, a lot of fun watching her grow as an athlete in that role. Um, you know, she finished last season at conference, uh, making the all-conference team there, the tournament team. And we're just kind of expecting her to keep doing the same thing she's always done, is work hard, play as a team, take one period at a time, and go out there and, and, and win games. How about trying to build this program? Because it is new. You, you came here after the first year. Uh, when you go out and, and you recruit for the sport of water polo, I imagine there's, there's some challenges because it's a young program. There, there are challenges, but I mean, what program, what sport doesn't have those challenges in recruiting these days? It's a, it's a tough business and that's what it is. And um, I enjoy those challenges and, and I feel that we're doing a pretty good job recruiting the right people, um, the right athletes for our program. and. Um, the geographic part of it is kind of tough, but like I said, it's it's kind of fun to have those challenges. Yeah, well, listen, best of luck the rest of the year to you too, and thanks so much for joining us on the program. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Aspen Rapp and Coach Mike Moody. Plenty more to come here on the Tim Miles Show. We'll be rejoined by Tim, and we'll look ahead to the week 
Network, Colorado State Basketball. Stay with us. <laughs>